All right, so boom. I'm not going to hold y'all up. All right, I'm going to hit you with one of these real quick because I need to see what the fuck is going on. All right, you already know what happened in the last episode. I shouldn't have to give you a recap, but just in case you need a recap, you can go ahead and look at the last video because <laughs> the last video will show you everything that you missed in last video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Check out our Patreon, our social media, join the Discord. You ready, Sean? I'm ready. <laughs> yep. Why isn't your brother living it up with the rest of us? Last I checked, he was still asleep. He and Crush were pretty exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> you know why they were exhausted. <laughs> no, no resting what's happening at that time. I know mm. they're saying great one in Supreme One. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Ainz is referred to as a Supreme One by Albedo and stuff. So I wonder if they're just trying to cover it up by saying great one instead. Mm. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Hey, how's the baby making? Oh. oh my God. <laughs> this guy. Here is Ainz. Fuck. Victim, come forward. What the fuck is that? <laughs> you know what that is. <laughs> That's a fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> that shit look crazy. It's veiny as well. You know what that is. Lastly, <laughs> Kokaitis. <laughs> yes, Lord. I am terribly sorry for my offense. I have dishonored Nazarek. I was Kokaitis. Look your master in the eye when begging forgiveness. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck. I'm curious. Why do you think you were beaten? Lord Ainz, I, I cannot begin, begin to atone for losing the army you entrusted to me. Enough. Let me make this perfectly clear. I don't intend to punish you harshly for this defeat. What the fuck is going on? I would like to know how you could have won. Hmm. I could have went out there myself. More cautiously. Yeah. I underestimated the lizard men's resourcefulness. Yes, you did. Never underrate someone, no matter how weak they are. Apologies. He's looking for something specific. All I, think of for the mm. all I wanted was for him to display his own thinking, no matter what it might have been. Listen well, my guardians. Mm. Okay. Orders are not infallible law that you must blindly obey and carry out. You must carefully consider them before you act. Always aim for the greatest benefit to Nazarek. I Not love his voice actor, bro. You change your punishment, yes. You will govern the Lizardmen and instill everlasting loyalty towards Nazarek within their hearts. Rule through fear is forbidden. As you wish, Lord. Mm. I swear on my life to live up to the great mercy you have shown me. So you have to govern them without scaring them. I felt like there was a teaching moment there because Heinz was acting really weird, but mm -hmm. he clearly wanted that outcome from him. He just wanted him to say it himself. He, is he tired? Oh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> that was friggin' epic! In Yggdrasil, if you do anything you don't have the skills for, you're screwed. But if Kokaitis can gain tactics and strategies from this experience, that just goes to prove that everyone has a massive potential for growth. Mm, However, okay. growth means it's time for you to make a meat suit and take care of business. <laughs> There's a floral scent. Have they been sprinkling perfume onto my bed sheets? Mm -mm. Perhaps this is what the wealthy are used to. <laughs> so, I should keep that in mind. It could come in handy when pretending to be rich. No, it's Albedo <laughs> sleeping in your shit, bro. But this must be the power of the great one we keep hearing about. Remain He's not even showing up. Don't let mm. fear rule you, brave warriors. I reckon this is gonna the be a clean sweep. Mm. Don't think or do anything that would cause them to hang their heads in shame. Well, maybe he's not even gonna fight them. What do you think? Because he's not supposed to rule with fear, so maybe yeah. he's just gonna talk to them. But it doesn't look like battle preparations. Oh shit, he showed up! Uh -oh. oh! <laughs> what is that crush? I don't know. It's completely new to me. This dude, Eins. Hmm. Oh, ah. Well, I'm sold. 
We don't stand a chance against this thing. <laughs> where he's standing. Am I hallucinating? What the what fuck is that? What? Yo, Eins is just pulling the dick out. That's all he's doing is showing his nuts. <laughs> Are they making a ramp? <laughs> Yo, are you fucking uh, yo, Eins? <laughs> yo, sorry, you Hmm. Medic as expected. Demiurge, please teach these lower life forms the proper posture to adopt before our master. Prostrate yourselves. Oh shit! <laughs> Their spiritual pressure. I believe they are ready to listen now. Good work. Your race will fall under my rule. <laughs> However, I am sure that you do not wish to come under the rule of someone against whom you have so recently achieved victory. Thus, in four hours, I will attack again. The attacker will be one of my most trusted aides, Kokaitis, mm -hmm. on his own. We surrender! I prefer you fight instead of giving up without trying. <laughs> that would displease me. <laughs> Stay with us. My business here is done. You have four hours. I suggest you use them well. You are now free to move. <laughs> Yo, Demiurge. He seems OP as fuck. <laughs> fuck oh. yeah! Favorite character. <laughs> I love that. Huh? It's baby time. Impregnate me! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> so the one thing I was thinking this entire time that this was going on is like you can see how somebody's overwhelming power affects like a group of people. You know, like it shows it from two perspectives. It shows it from Ainz's perspective where he's just ridiculous, and then it shows it from the 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 lizard men's perspective where it's like, fuck, what do we do? We're gonna die. Yeah. You know, even though now I feel Kokaitis is not gonna kill them, I think he's just gonna beat their ass. They basically said that Ayn's intention the whole time was for him to Kokaitis to learn from the experience and that he didn't want to actually make the lizard men undead. Mm -hmm. And that didn't really fit his character because he doesn't seem malicious mm -hmm. like that. And it's interesting that he pointed out that the NPCs, or rather his minions, Kokaitis, Alberto, mm -hmm. can grow in terms of strength and knowledge. And that's what he was testing, and he wanted to see how they would handle the situation. So, all in all, I think it was just an experiment for him, a learning thing. He wants to test out the new world. He's in a new world, you know, he doesn't know what's going on. It's different from the RPG. Yeah. So, yeah. I feel you, I agree. But at the same time, it's like, you're right. This is a five episode experiment, <laughs> you know, and we still didn't address. We still haven't addressed the, the, the chick with the scythe, the dude that was at the end of the first season in the beginning of this season. We've just been dealing with these lizard men, which I thought from the end of the first season, we were just going to smoke them. You know, mm. um, I, I'm happy that we didn't just run up in there and smoke them. And we've, we got to know them and we, we learn about their, their culture, their tribes and all that stuff. I'm glad that that happened. But at the same time, it's like, dang, five episodes. And I mean, I get it. It's, it's, a, it's a light novel, you know? So mm. since it's coming from a light novel, there's a lot of shit you have to put, you have to fit in these, like in these episodes. And it's like, you're really trying to you're trying to animate books like not like comics or manga you're trying to animate books so yeah the biggest problem was that for me was that the first episode of the season mm. was really good and they showed a lot of characters and mm. people who you're very interested in they showed that dragon the lady talking to mm -hmm. the dragon uh the chick with the scythe and the black and white mm -hmm. you know they showed a bunch of people uh, and then they'll solely focused on the lizard men. Yeah. So I think it's just that we really want to know more about these people. Uh, and then we didn't. So yeah. Obviously, we are going to. Yeah. It's just that we're a bit impatient. That's all. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Like I said, I still enjoyed the episode. So I still liked it. Uh, in fact, this was probably uh, the best episode of the season so far, mm -hmm. uh, just in terms of Man, Demiurge was so cool. It was, uh, <laughs> ooh, 
yeah that, that gave me chills so favorite character as of this moment yeah enjoyed it and i want to see the fight next episode so yeah yeah i'm so ready for kokaitis this to do what he does anybody dies i'll be surprised however i will say if nobody dies i'm fine if somebody dies mm. i think it's gonna get points in my book <laughs> like it's weird because i feel like everybody expects nobody to die so if he just runs rolls up in there and smokes four to five people <laughs> or whatever i'll be like oh shit like hokitis was not playing so um but then i guess eins can bring them back so oh true yeah because yeah. i was gonna say i don't think he will because mm. eins seems like he wanted he said don't rule by fear so that you'd assume that means don't kill people mm. uh but maybe he could just to display power and then irons revives them that seems kind of fucked up <laughs> it, it could happen <laughs> it is kind of fucked up if you think about it because i wouldn't be i wouldn't show you gratitude you because you brought this on us we was chilling minding our business and you brought this on us and you smoked me and it brought me back like i'd be like yo get the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but yeah i'm ready to see what happens next Victim. Keep the Victim. Safe until we return. Victim is a floating cock. I cannot unsay it. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Plain though it may be, it seemed only right to prepare a throne for you. We assembled the best parts of various animals. Griffins, wyverns, and the like. What the fuck? That's not what I... <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to sit on this <laughs> shit. <laughs> These are human skulls. I can't sit on that. Shout to you. I promised you punishment, didn't I? This is the perfect time to administer it. You gotta sit on a chair. Get down on your hands and knees. Oh shit, his eyes have been glowing a oh lot. What the God. fuck? This is inspired. Oh my gosh, she loves it. Mm hmm. But so. Lord, he must be heavy. May I mm. be excused from the room? I will only be a moment. <laughs> she bought the scream. <laughs> 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 I am refreshed and ready to serve. <laughs> Shelter, is this too much? If so, I could. It is not too much at all. Uh, my oh Lord, my. I take it as the grandest of rewards. Bruh. <laughs> no, I should see this punishment through. <laughs> Besides, <laughs> that fucking. It was like. <laughs> that's so cool that he can do that. Hmm. Pumping themselves up. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Say for the chiefs, I don't see the white lizard or the one with the magic weapon. They fucking. He said his name was Yusu, <laughs> right? Ah, oh, yes. I believe you're right. Maybe he's inside one of the houses. Oh my god, don't look. We should be. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Killing that shit. Getting out. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lizard orgasm. What the fuck? Sorry to keep you waiting, Cocytus. <laughs> <Bloody Ancestor! laughs> I hate to do this to warriors. But I must, I must reduce, reduce your numbers, numbers quickly. Damn, is he actually gonna fucking? Mm. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh shit, bro! Arsenal. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh no, fuck! Uh, Not the arm! Maximize magic! That's like your wounds! Oh, oh. oh nice! Oh, shit. Okay. You still have the will to fight? Then I shall return this to you. <laughs> Yo, Kokaitis! Yeah. 
That's getting annoying. <laughs> oh god, he's dead. Oh oh god. Uh. He's just got one big arm. Oh shit! Oof. Damn. As long as I have a drop of blood left to give, Frostpain and I won't give up! That was a fine <laughs> war cry. <laughs> that was a fine we war cry. We will meet our death together. May I have your names before we finish? Shasuryu Shasha. Zaryusu Shasha. Shasha. I, shall I love that. You as warriors. As long as I live, you will not be forgotten. What the fuck? I'm on it. Earth mine! My defense cannot be penetrated by one whose magic level is inferior. Don't waste your time! I see both! Fuck. <clears throat> Oh shit! Fuck! Your effort was meaningless at best. Damn. Meaningless at best. You just fucking smoked them all. Bro. You fought admirably today. And I always will, Lord. I admit they were weak. But I also cannot deny they possess the brilliance of true warriors. I truly believe they have the potential to become stronger than we assume, if given the chance. Unless I'm mistaken, you have yet to conduct any more experiments with resurrection. Mm. If you were to use them for that. The brilliance of warriors, is it? I liked him, so I'm glad he's coming back. <laughs> oh! Why are you? Is this the afterlife? <laughs> killed by that monster? He sounds different. Great one. Yeah, he's got like a list or something. Yeah. My eternal allegiance to you. Your speech is still faltering. A little rest should remedy that. Take oh, okay, we're not bugging. Recover, then speak with Kokaitis about what is to follow. Well, he said he had lost some levels. I was like, did he lose some int or something? <laughs> what about Zenburu and my brother? Their bodies should still be around. Please, great one. May I ask you to bring them back as well? Safeguard their bodies. I'll consider your request. Aura, time to go. Great! Can I play with the Hydra sometime, my lord? <laughs> <laughs> Just try to focus on recovering. We can work. Yeah, he needs a super nap. Back. Mm. Yeah. As long as I can rest in your arms. It's kind of like, almost like, I called it. <laughs> he fucking <laughs> smoked them and they got resurrected. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Damn. But not only did he kill them, all right, I need to emphasize, not only did he kill them, he killed the fuck out of them. So, yeah. like, his brother got cut in half. <laughs> and his and the big the Hercule dude got his head cut off. Yeah, the whole fight was bloody crazy. Probably my favorite episode of the series because it wasn't just the fight. There was a lot of comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just a really good episode. I, I was never there's never a dull moment. Mm -hmm. It was action packed. Mm -hmm. Always something happening. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, this episode was good not just because of the action, but because of like you know the story within the lizard people you know yep. like they knew what was happening that when 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 he was like let us old timers have this you'll you'll have your time in the future and shit i was like damn bro these are fucking yeah. warriors like they're warriors bro um yeah. too too bad for zariusu or whatever his name is he um lost a few levels so he's not as strong as he was but uh yeah. he'll be back i hope Ainz brings everybody back to be honest like come on now I think the other brother is also in the intro, so hmm. you'd assume he brings them back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but bring back Hercule too, bro. Like, just bring everybody <laughs> back. Don't leave them dead, yeah. bro, because for your little fucking experiment, people died. <laughs> like, if you have the ability to bring people back, bring them back. It's interesting because we've moved from mainly focusing on Ainz and Ainz's thoughts hmm. to the lizard men. Mm hmm. And what this essentially means is 
Heinz has been confusing me recently mm. because we don't hear his inner, you know, nerd voice. Mm -hmm. We only hear his outer voice. And he, in his outer personality, he always tries to be commanding and appear really uh, like a leader, you know, mm -hmm. someone who's intimidating. But they'll occasionally switch back to his inner thoughts and you'll realize, oh, that was just an act or, you know, he's, he's not actually like that. Yeah, But we've gotten a lot less of that since we've been focusing on the lizard people. It's sort of like a different perspective. Mm -hmm. So now it seems like Eins is almost evil, but you can tell that he's not. But that's like the impression we're getting. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I agree. I agree. It's, I, I mean, I like Eins. So, and I'm, I'm very attracted to the, uh, the, the, the mystery behind him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm attracted to the mystery like i want to know more you know i don't want to assume he's gonna do certain things because i feel like i'll be proven wrong even though today is the first time since we've been reacting i've been <laughs> right right but yeah yeah um you know the the nuance surrounding eins is like I, you know and then the world i'm just very intrigued by it so i don't know i'm just down yeah. for the ride bro like i think it's really good so far so, I mean, I don't really have much else to say. That episode was insane. It was fire. Mm. And I can't wait for episode six. So, yes. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Check out our Patreon and our social media and join the Discord. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>